I'm using my casual luxury design principles to completely renovate this 1908 home in Westport, Connecticut for the O'Kane family. I was first brought onto this project to address the water leak in the foyer. Now this was a big concern because although it has been patched and repaired over the years, the last major water leak was really problematic. It ruined all the wallpaper, the sheetrock, the flooring. So when I came on board, it was to address that area. Little did I know that would also expand to other projects. So it's interesting that I started with the foyer, then I tackled on multiple other projects, and now that the entire house is done from top to bottom, inside and out, I can finally focus on exiting Green Isle with the staircase and the foyer completely done. This front foyer is gonna get a major transformation. The major transformation will take place when we paint and wallpaper this entire area. Now, when that's all done, this is going to be worthy of receiving guests for a very long time. Now we're gonna address the flooring, the stairs, the carpet, the lighting, the walls, as well as the ceilings as well. We're also gonna bring in some great details and expand the landing on the third floor. I'm gonna be busy. So how do you keep a woman like Yvonne away from her staircase and all the different changes that are taking place? Well, if you know Yvonne like I know Yvonne, you can't do that. Nope, not gonna happen. So the best thing is for me to keep some secrets underneath my sleeves so that way when I finally do give her the full reveal, there are a couple of surprises. Here we are in the foyer and we have done a lot. We've completely sheetrocked this space. Uh, we primed it, we're getting the walls ready to be uh, prepared for trimmed and wallpaper. We have a fantastic wallpaper. It's going to run up actually this entire floor all the way up to the third floor. But unfortunately there is a hold up here because just when you think you've measured and you measured once, you measure twice and you send something off for production, it comes back and they reverse the measurements, right? They reverse two numbers. And that's exactly what happened here because everything else was fine, but when we went to pop in these transoms, right? Mm -hmm. We noticed that uh, they were off, they didn't line up. They don't line up with the lower unit. So now we have to wait uh, for those to go back into production. The flooring in here is very interesting. Let's talk a little bit about the flooring here. Some of the biggest challenges that presented itself when renovating Green Isle was timing and coordination. For example, I couldn't very well install the wallpaper if I knew that there was still demo going on in adjacent rooms because just the mere chance of the wallpaper being damaged would be problematic. Now I finally get to say I'm going to finish and this space will be completely done. Coming up. But I thought I would also coordinate two magazines to come and photograph Green Isle. Must have been nuts. The craziness here is insane. Being part of Christie's International Real Estate proudly affords us the opportunity of engaging a worldwide audience. Our unique partnership enables us to bring the world's most desired homes to the world's most discerning customers. Higgins Group, exclusive affiliate of Christie's International Real Estate, provides an open passport to the world. Discover more about the Higgins Group by visiting our website, HigginsGroup.com. Hi everyone, I'm lifestyle expert Mar Jennings. I'm the author of Life on Mars, Creating Casual Luxury. I'm inviting you all inside my Westport, Connecticut home to explore my six casual luxury design principles. And it's full of practical tips that you can apply in any space. It's casual luxury made simple and smart. It's like an entire season of a home makeover show in one book. Order your copy now. Welcome back to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. We're renovating Green Isle, a 1908 home in Westport, Connecticut. Redoing the foyer and grand staircase is going to completely change the house 
so the details are crucial. All right, Yvonne, so I brought you here to the Antique and Design Center in Norwalk because I feel very strongly that whatever we do in reference to a chandelier has to have some history. We can't do something new. We've done that already. We've done that. We have been looking for chandeliers for months. Now this is becoming a real problem because I know that whatever chandelier we find, it's probably gonna need some restoration. The big problem before we can even go to restoration is where is the chandelier? I'm extremely frustrated at this point because we have looked high and low and still no chandelier. Where is it? There is a lot to choose from, but when it comes to lighting, I think the best part about really forging and discovering a chandelier at an antique center is that you know, someone's taken the work out of it for you. So they've all come here and it is just our job to narrow it down. So far, we are completely striking out because high and low, no matter where we look, we're not finding that chandelier. No, 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 too small, too dining room light. These are not the chandeliers you're looking for. I don't feel the vibe that we're trying to do for Green Isle. No, no, too big. And then we turn this corner. So wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> what do you think of that? Look at the scale of it. It's narrow, it gets slightly wider, but it's really tight. Wait a minute. Now this chandelier, I'm gonna call it a she, cause she was waiting for us patiently. Now she just arrived at the antique center. So when we saw it, we knew immediately. It was love at first sight. I Hi, think this guy Hey, hey how, how are, are you? you? Good to see you. Hi. Hi. This is Yvonne. Hi, Yvonne. How are you? Nice to meet you. Okay. Um, oh, it's a beautiful piece. We love this piece. It's gorgeous. What can you tell us about it? Yeah. Well, it is uh, a beautiful teardrop chandelier. It came out of the Dakota in New York. Oh! <laughs> okay, we like that. We yeah, like that. Yeah, beautiful. I think it's um, Austrian crystal, turn of the century. Do you want to see it lit up? Can, can you light it? Can yeah. Light it? Oh, yeah, my yeah. goodness. Absolutely. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's sit over here. All right, you ready? It's a big reveal. Wait, on a count of three. <laughs> One, two, three. Wow! That That's beautiful? fantastic. Beautiful. <gasps> I think it's a perfect scale, don't you? Oh, it's glamorous. And the fact that it drops, it has this teardrop shape, is going to balance the top of the staircase with the new landing and really Grab your attention when you're up there. After months of looking for the exact perfect chandelier, right here in the next town over from Green Isle, we find it right here. And it came from New York City, the Dakota. It just goes to show you, after months of looking up, we finally found the perfect chandelier. The radiators are hideous, especially in a grand staircase. So we're off to teeth and taller so I can show Yvonne my idea of a radiator cover. You're pretty familiar with this kind of environment. I am. My dad actually um, owned a furniture manufacturing company our whole lives until just a few years ago. All right, it's clear we're spending a lot of time together and that's the best part on this project. So when you spend so much time together, you really get to know someone. And Yvonne took a moment to tell me a little bit about her relationship with her dad. He built custom furniture, he did all kinds of custom finishes, and then they did custom and reupholstery. So this was my home away from home growing up. Now, interesting enough, Yvonne was telling me how her dad really wanted her to go to architectural school, but Yvonne wanted to be a designer. Well, I think she has the best of both worlds now. We're here to see our radiator covers to reunite with. Oh, here they are. All right, so here's a perfect example. We took it from pencil to paper, the whole vision of what we wanted it to look like, and then it was created to our specifications. And look at the fact that you could take, take the that top off. Take that off, oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so this is a lovely and decorative way to cover up a radiator. Yeah, it's beautiful. 
Let me Not take bad, your, huh? Let me take your picture. I didn't do so bad, huh? Not bad at all. Right? You're hired. <laughs> So uh, life on Mars would not be complete without this guy. So uh, Ross was pretty lucky, right? Yeah. yeah. While we were at Tiefenthaler, Yvonne learned how to become a supermodel with a wind machine. Wait, here's, here's a close-up man. <laughs> Wait, the other way. Wait, supermodel, supermodel, supermodel. <laughs> Apparently, she's very good at it. Coming up. It's kind of a very well orchestrated magic act because we have the chandelier that's supposed to hang right in the center of the third floor hallway area. Welcome back to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. The grand staircase and foyer are getting a complete overhaul. We found the perfect chandelier, but now it's time for fixtures and finishes. And of course, some fun. Teeth and taller. Lucas is such a talented, talented craftsman, and he created these lattice radiator covers. And voila, we have a little function here. So this area now has a purpose for decor as well as heat. So it's the best of both worlds. So when you come up, you see this, but as opposed to saying a traditional radiator, isn't that so much more attractive, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, isn't it? You, you gotta love it, come on. Okay, use, ah, oh, <laughs> cameraman loves it, yes. All right, Yvonne, so I have met this woman, Seville, in New Canaan, who does exactly what we love. She takes old furnishings and she restores them and brings them back to life. So we're gonna take a little road trip and see her studio. Hey, Seville. Good to see you again. Good to see you, absolutely. Baby, hello. Oh, you speak French. All right, let's go to your studio, shall we? Okay. So this is her little studio area. Well, in the French culture, usually when you have a family piece, you give it to your uh, daughter, and the daughter is going to give it to her daughter. Then, in the U.S., when I arrived here, there was so much inventory where people just decide to move to a different house and they want to completely redo their decor or uh, the grandmother passed away and so they're selling everything in the house because they think that the that old bergère is just not fitting in their decor and I think this is where it's wrong. She has such a skill set to take these abandoned pieces of furniture and to give them brand new life. So we knew that we loved this piece. It's a great piece. The lines were just Soft. Well, I told Sibyl that she needed to restore a chair that we picked up at a tag sale. And yes, we do not discriminate. We shop everywhere. We're always looking for quality items at really affordable prices. Very, very much. I love the uh, the legs. Very, uh, it's very neoclassical. Right? It. It's, yeah. it's almost, um, you know, Roman. Right. <laughs> and we have a real treat for you because I have selected a piece for the top of your staircase and we've kind of been working on this. And and so we completely changed the frame by repainting it. I uh, applied my pigments to give it some soul. I, I, li I like saying that because it's soul, really, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Soul, yeah. it's with really the layers, the depth, right? right? Exactly. This is also perfect too with the spindles on the stairs and the way you come up to the third floor, you'll still be able to see through the bottom and over the top. Repurpose, reuse, and redesign. After seeing the completed bench, we now knew how the chair would be finished to match perfectly. This is a great ending to a very long day. Tomorrow, the chandelier finally gets installed. All right, the day has finally come. The chandelier is being installed. It's kind of a very well orchestrated magic act because we have the chandelier that's supposed to hang right in the center of the third floor hallway area. But yet to access it, there's a lot of different ladders that all have to come together for it to very carefully go up and be installed. Now I must say that this chandelier is very fragile. And my buddy Eddie completely rewired the chandelier. He took meticulous care in also cleaning it as well. And so he arrives and he's going to oversee the electrician as to how the chandelier gets installed. Now this chandelier is an antique. This chandelier is our only chandelier. We can't call up and say, we want another one. So getting this chandelier installed is going to really push all my buttons. 
Hi everyone, I'm lifestyle expert Barr Jennings. I'm the author of Life on Mars, Creating Casual Luxury. I'm inviting you all inside my Westport, Connecticut home to explore my six casual luxury design principles. And it's full of practical tips that you can apply in any space. It's casual luxury made simple and smart. It's like an entire season of a home makeover show in one book. Order your copy now. Escape. Rejuvenate. Relax into your perfect dream at Dream Spa and Salon. From couture, color and cuts, and hot rock massages to perfect pedicures, Dream has you covered from head to toe. Dream Spa and Salon. We welcome you to Dream. Welcome back to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. The grand staircase and foyer are getting a complete makeover. I'm a nervous wreck hoping that the antique one-of-a-kind chandelier gets installed without any accidents. And there is more pressure just around the corner. All right, so Dave was the electrician and he did the heroic balancing act to walk on this little platform and to install this chandelier. Now I must say I was extremely nervous because it's, it's about this big. The tough part happens because we have to make very important decisions at the moment that they are asked and presented to us. How long do we want the chain? What is the canopy going to look like? All those decisions have to be made right away so we don't slow anyone down. Now we made some really great decisions and with a very quick turnaround and that's what we do. We're like this, my team, Mar and Yvonne, and the end result is perfect. All right, thank you so much. Yvonne, you have the honors to see that chandelier lit for the first time. Voila! Oh, Breathtaking. That. that is beautiful. It's perfect. All right, so now you have to promise me because now I need to get Bruce back here for wallpaper. I have to bring in some furniture pieces. So I really need you out this weekend because when you come back, this will be all done. Are you okay with that? I love going all right, so take a little mini vacation and then when you come back, I'll have it all taken care of for you. Okay. All right, Good but job. I keep the dog. You get the dog? Okay. I keep the dog. Bye. I keep the dog. Bye. All right. Tick tock, tick tock, it is a crazy weekend. Today, Bruce is here with Jay and we are having the wallpaper installed. Finally, he's on a very tight schedule with Yvonne away with the family, but I thought I would also coordinate two magazines to come and photograph Green Isle. I must have been nuts. The craziness here is insane. I just hope that I can get this all out of here and ready for my big reveal on Monday. And you know what? I gotta make it happen. I have no choice. On top of all this craziness, they wanna take photos of me. Of course, the photo shoot was the whole house, so some last minute styling was needed. Stay, good girl, stay. Stay, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Ah. We got the dog shot. Yippee! What was I thinking? With all this activity, I'm now really questioning whether or not I will finish this in time. And knowing Yvonne and the family, they'll probably show up early. I just hope I can get it all done. What was I thinking? Okay, you guys gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I have an hour. The foyer and staircase are designed not to compete with the other rooms in the house. But my six core casual luxury design principles were the secret to elevating the look of even this simple linear space. And that makes it cohesive with all the other adjacent rooms. Can you believe it? I'm ready and with five minutes to spare. Ah. 
So while I'm waiting, let me show you how I use my six casual luxury principles. Represent Mother Nature. I included the console tables with faux branch legs and a subtle wallpaper pattern. Embrace light and reflection. The lamps are glass so they don't compete with the view. The console side tables are mirrored and of course zero window treatments help the chandeliers reflect light. Natural materials and colors. The natural fabrics on the chair and the bench complement the colors on the wallpaper and the carpet runner on the stairs. Repurpose. I love finding a new home for the beautiful chandelier from the Dakota, as well as the tag sail chair and the bench. Repeat shapes and patterns. The existing curves in the wall and in the handrails became the blueprint. Consider size and scale. I hand selected each piece of furniture and lighting to balance the narrow staircase. Fewer pieces actually do more here. Now it's time to finally show Yvonne. You made it! Hi! Where's the family? Oh, I'm so sorry. I had to drop Neil off at his office. The kids at school. Oh, no problem. I'm, I'm glad nice you're here. You. We'll take it all in. Looks beautiful. What do you think, huh? It's a completely different vibe. Look at the furniture. Look at the mirror. The mirror is really oh, indicative of Green Isle really with the birds. There was a chair here. If you remember, you gave me the recipe not long ago when I first came on this assignment. And so that was really how I wanted to reincorporate this space by giving you another chair. I did well. You did a great job. All right, well, I have two more zones to show you that finish off this entire foyer area staircase. All right, Ready? let's go. Come on, up the steps. And you remember that built-in bookshelf? Well, it completely has a facelift. What do you think? It looks fantastic. It really looks beautiful. Drawers, which I absolutely love. It makes it functional. But we got rid of all that glass and just really made it more appropriate of something you would see when the house was built. So look at this. Look at this all finished Is that up not here. incredible? It's gorgeous. Oh my God, it was worth all the looking. The, the perfect bed. teardrop chandelier. Let's go all the way up to the top now because now you have a landing where you never had before. Right, where we this had to cut out. This is completely cut out. So have a seat. And of course, we have this beautiful bench yes. up here. And it's the same fabric of the chair downstairs. I was going to say, the paint finish, it looks really pretty. Oh, the colors are beautiful. Oh, I'm it's so glad gorgeous. you like I it. it. And I have to thank Ross because without Ross, we would never have been on schedule. Certainly, there were a lot of moving parts and this is the end result, and here he is. Oh, he's been fantastic. So how'd we do? It's gorgeous, I love it. Thank you. And there you have it. Casual luxury certainly has no boundaries, and it's the cure for all design dilemmas. We're gonna wrap up this season with one more project outside that's truly gonna put a bow on this entire project here at Greeno. For more information, make sure you head over to my website, marjennings.com, where you can learn more about my casual luxury philosophy. Until then, keep it casual. Whether inside or out, he's the guy. Six clever principles for you to try. Learn casual luxury, and you'll agree. Like on Mars. Hey everyone, I'm serving up Mar TV, so why don't we binge watch together all the episodes. And when you're done, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way you're the first to know when the next episode is posted.